In this video, I'm going to show you how to do these frozen inspired nails. I'm like obsessed with the movie. On this side, I added a little Olaf nose. So it's really easy, and you really don't need any, you know, expensive tools or anything. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing I did is I did a base coat. This is my favorite. This is the base coat and the top coat. And then I just used a cheap, I think it was 99 cents. Um, it's kind of like a blue-gray color. So it'll make the white really stand out. So, and for my, to make the icicle looking things, I took a piece of duct tape. And I fold it over so that there is a little edge like that. And what this does is it'll give you something that will stick to your finger when you're trying to do your, your nails. So I'm only using a little bit of this. And so here's the sticky side. You're going to make just a little icicle shape just like that and then the rest can be big because you're just using that bottom part let's put it this way okay and so this is what I'm going to use to make my little icicles. Okay, so I grabbed, this is a lid from like a grocery store, just like a takeout thing, but you can use like a margarine lid or a butter lid, sour cream. You can use foil, I did. I used foil one time. So I'm gonna take some white and I'm going to drip it onto the lid. You can also use like coffee lids. Grab a couple extra when you go and get your coffee. Okay, so I'm using the sticky side so it stays on there. And you're just going to do different shapes. I don't know if you can see my base coat has lines in it because I did it last night but see and I can keep going back over it so that the hardest thing for me is to not touch things and to let it dry because this does get on a little thick especially when you do the glitter so you want to make sure it's totally dry and it's probably better to do like a couple of thin coats because we do the thin, the thick ones when you mess up then you kind of have to start over. The only good thing with this with the icicles is that even if you do mess up you know icicles are not flat so you kind of get away with it a little bit and like on this side right here you see like that one I got a little goopy and I had to fix it so it's not exactly like I want but I still I can still get away with it so you're gonna let this totally dry and then we'll do the next step okay for the glitter part these were actually buy one give one half off so I had to get two and I like how both of these look I think I like how this one looks better let's see this one is with that and then this one, that one's not a good nail to do. Let's see. So that is with that. And then, so it's whatever you prefer. I think I do like, I don't know, I like both. And this one, let's see, this one I did both. So I did the blue first, and then I did more glitter on top. So what I did learn with this one is that the glitter is really goopy and it takes forever to dry 
So it is a really, really good idea to do thin coats and then you can always come back and add another coat. Last night I was like, I put it on too thick and so that's why this one got messed up. But it was so thick that I, like, I couldn't do anything for like hours. So I dripped on some of the glitter and I put my little icicle cut out on there and you're just going to go over the top and it doesn't have to be perfect like if some of the glitter ends up on the the base coat it's no big deal and so I'm going to try to learn try to use what I learned last night and just do a thin coat and then come back I usually like I waited about 15 minutes between when I did the white one, so I went off when I was off camera, it was like 15 minutes. But if you can wait longer, that's better. See, and I don't think I'm listening to my own advice, so I'm gonna stop right now before I get carried away. So even that looks pretty like that. And I mean, I like a lot of glitter, so I just keep adding more and more. So we'll come right back. Okay, so I'm ready for round two. I waited 15 minutes. And that's because I did a, a really light coat. So let me get my little cut out here. And you can make extra ones of these. To me, it's all the same spot, so I don't worry about it too much. So just one more coat. And I probably will do I don't know, two more coats after this of the glitter just because I like a lot of glitter. And I don't want to do thick coats. So that looks really good. So I did just the orange for Olaf's nose. So there it is. So I haven't done a top coat yet, so I still need to do that. Let's so get my top coat on, and then I'm good to go. So here is the finished. I did do two more light coats of the glitter, and then I did a top coat, just a clear top coat. And I did a clear top coat for the rest of the nails, too, because I hadn't done that yet. So here is the finished. I almost want more glitter, but I'm stopping. It's going to be too much. So there it is, Frozen Inspired Nails. Thanks for watching.